U.S. military versus Patriots, American Patriots. Who would win in a war like that? I'm going to play here a little video of uh, President Joe Biden talking about how that uh, he tries to quote the thing about the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of tyrants and, and uh, patriots. And he just says about, you know, oh, the tree of liberty and the blood or whatever, and, you know. And then he says, oh, you're going to need a lot more than an AR-15. You'll need an F-15 to fight against the U.S. military, against the government. And uh, so let me roll that video and then we'll come back and say some things about it. I love my right wing friends who talk about the tree of liberty is water with the blood of patriots. Give me a, if you need to work about taking on the federal government, you need some F-15s. You don't need an AR-15. I'm serious. Think about it. Think about the rationale for this. So there you have it. Um, yes, we uh, we're going to have to take on the military, apparently, to stop tyranny in America. And uh, America, you know, the Patriots will not have a chance because we're so outgunned by the military. Well, uh, it doesn't quite work out that way. Um, I've never been a military in the military, but I've read a lot about it. I understand it. Married to a military veteran. My wife, she was in two branches of the military. So she kind of, you know, if I ask questions, she can answer my questions. Um, things I don't know or whatever. But uh, there's one thing about the military here in America. Um, is it very powerful? Uh, yeah, we certainly have some very powerful weapons. That is true. But uh, do powerful weapons, um, do they just work by themselves or something? No, you need a lot of support for those weapons. Let me explain, be a little bit clearer here in what I'm saying. Okay, F-15 versus an uh, you get a soldier with an F-15 from the military. He's under orders to go out and take me out because I have an AR-15. Just to prove the point here. So he gets in his F-15 and just takes off, right? Well, no, actually, um, there's the mechanics that have to make sure that it's running correctly. There's the guy that fuels it. There, the pilot himself usually has to do a sort of walk around and things. Usually they, they do that, check out everything, make sure it's okay. There's the air traffic control tower that has to make sure that everything's fine and he can take off and whatever else there's all the communication type of stuff going on between him and as he's flying here to my property to gun me down um you know uh and so he comes here he takes off from loring air force base base to the north of us and which is you know a defunct military base they shut it down in the 1990s another issue there but uh <laughs> So he takes off and he's flying here. He's going to kill the American Patriot Brian Denlinger and he's got, you know, my little picture on his, you know, on his inside of his uh F15 there. And he's flying and and um then he thinks he gets, you know, contacts uh do you have any intel where he's at? Is he at his office or is he at his property? Uh I think he's at his property. You know, we're down here we have our guys that, you know, you need guys at the office um miles away from here you know they'd need guys there watching to make sure i'm not there and they'd have to kind of see if i'm not there or not, whatever and oh i think he's still at his property okay well i have a pretty big property uh where am i at on my property well we'll just go and shoot up all the buildings okay but you shoot the wrong building that i'm not in and i'm warned and then i can go hide in the woods you, you see the point i'm trying to make here you're going to take on american patriots with an F-15, you know, we're going to, going to go out on a mission and and spend, you know, $10,000 or something like that with fuel costs and with all the other pay that everybody gets and uh, have to have people, you know, trying to find where I'm at and things. And you're going to do that and defeat American patriots that way? Huh? <laughs> um, a few other points I want to make. Okay, let's let's have the military go out against the American people. Well, there are some people in the military that I'm sure are stupid enough to go and engage the American, you know, citizenry, try to take guns away and whatever else. But there's still some people in the military that would say no to that. They would just simply say, no, I swore an oath to uphold the Constitution and whatever. I'm, I'm not going to go out and take people's constitutional rights away. I can't do that. I have to disobey those orders. So um, that wouldn't work. Uh, but then, of course, you have the other issue of, let's just say that you have enough people in the military to go out and engage the American population. And they're, you know, 
real wicked people and whatever else and they decide hey yeah we can do this all right um how long would it last when you go out and all of a sudden you're killing americans american patriots with the military assuming that, that would happen um you kill me and now all the people that are my friends my family my loved ones whatever all the viewers on youtube that love me and pray for me now you're all mad now you're all ready to fight the tyrants see that's the problem when a military engages a populace and it turns into a guerrilla warfare type of situation no nation has ever beat a another country that they're invading when it descends to a guerrilla warfare type of a thing because every time you kill somebody you create more soldiers you kill somebody in the population and now you've killed a brother or a father or a, a son or an uncle or a cousin or friend or co-worker whatever you can't engage a population or your own population with the, your own military it never works out it never has uh yes you could kill people i mean they did it in russia back with the whole communist takeover certainly you can kill people but the fact of the matter is um it's a really dumb idea so this thing of joe biden saying you know that the military uh american patriots can't take on the military they can't overthrow the government um i will agree with that on one point the american patriots cannot take on the military right now because they don't have god on their side um there's all these people coming out and they're they're talking about how corrupt the government is and yet they're not turning to god they're not turning to the king james bible the true word of god for english speaking people they don't even understand textual criticism they don't even understand why the king james bible it's not that i prefer it over other versions it's that it's the bible that comes from the right line of manuscripts it comes it goes back to the early christian church it's a syrian text antioch syria where they were called christians first you know um it's not the egyptian bible of the minority greek manuscripts again i have to say this because new people come along they don't understand the issue and they'll go with their new version and they'll stand up and they'll say i'm reading out of the bible uh, no actually you're reading out of a version that was produced by the vatican and uh, separated brethren according to them you don't even understand you don't understand that the founding fathers were not walking around using the message or something like this i mean obviously it wasn't around back then but the dewey reams of the roman catholic church um, it came out a year before the king james bible it came out in 1610 king james came out in 1611 authorized version originally called that the king james version is actually a nickname but the whole point is they have no spiritual power okay there's no spiritual power among the american patriots so would the american patriots win in a war against the uh american military no they wouldn't they could they could if they would turn back to the lord and do things the way that the founding fathers did and i don't mean founding fathers as in the freemasons you know benjamin franklin and Franklin and uh, Thomas Jefferson. I'm not talking about them as founding fathers. All right, I'm saying the patriotic men that fought during the Revolutionary War, the separated Bible-believing Protestants, get a hold of that one too, that uh, fought against the uh, King George that was controlled by the Jesuits. Uh, I mean, you, most people don't even understand this stuff. And they, they think, oh, they just fought because they had spirit and they were able to stand up and give me liberty or give me death, you know. Uh, they don't understand what that means. What is liberty? Um, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Liberty comes from Jesus Christ. Liberty comes from the Holy Spirit of God. Uh, you don't get liberty from uh, neat um, poems and things and philosophical stuff from Thomas Paine and whatever. That's not where liberty comes from. Um, if all of the early settlers here in America, um, if which my you know ancestors were part of that, uh, as I've said in other videos, we came here in 1720. So don't say that I'm just oh you you're a immigrant as well or something. You came later. No, my ancestors were here for the Revolutionary War, um, <clears throat> and if they were all deists like Thomas Jefferson and uh, Freemasons and whatever else, America would have never won. America would have never won its independence and uh, guaranteed liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> it would have never happened. So, um, kind of a tricky question here. 
uh, would American patriots win against the American military if there was a war, sort of a civil war or something? No, they wouldn't. They could. <laughs> Just to say that again, they could. Small arms tactics and guerrilla warfare tactics and whatever else, uh, you could easily overthrow this government. Easily. This corrupt, wicked government that's run by the Vatican. Um, it could be overthrown. Absolutely. If God was on the side of the American patriots. But God's not on their side. Um, oh, I'm going to sing about freedom and whatever else and then use all kinds of profanity. I mean, just something so simple and so basic. Christians don't use profanity. You have a clean mouth. You know, that's why the, you know, Peter, he's with the people out there when Jesus is, you know, on trial. And they said, thy speech be raith thee. And what does Peter do to convince him that he's lost? He starts to curse and swear. <laughs> because he was talking like somebody that would be saved. Saved people have different speech. But the American pa patriots are just profane, wicked people. Uh, they might not be as wicked as the liberal left. But uh, they have whole other issues. So, American patriots versus American military. Who would win? The, the military. Because a lot of the patriots too, they're, they're all talk. They wouldn't die for their beliefs. Um, the time would come that the military would say, hey, go on into the relocation center or whatever else. Most of them would. Um, you have to go and, and uh, you know, go in there and present your ID and whatever, you know, they would do it. Of course they would. So, um, just wanted to make a quick video on that subject. Um, but as you, if you're saved, if you're born again, then uh, we do have the power to fight against the, you know, evil tyranny out there. And you need to start thinking of ways to get out of that tyranny. And just to simply say, um, I'm going to get out of debt. Whatever I have to do. Because debt is slavery. Literal slavery. You become a surety for strangers. A mortgage-backed security, it has your name on it. You've been put into a contract, a death pledge mortgage. You've been put into that contract. And um, you're sold on Wall Street. I'm not joking. Mortgage-backed securities... It's, uh, you're basically saying, I am good for this amount, and I will pay this amount. You become a slave, a bond servant. You have to get out of debt. Um, learn how to take care of yourself medically. Learn how to provide uh, for your family. Learn multiple skills. Those are the things that you do. Uh, they, they say, uh, you can't come into the store here unless you have ID or this or that or whatever else. Uh, certain injections and things no you know I'll take care of myself um, that's what you have to do learn to civilly disobey and if you have to take up arms the sword of just defense as many call it then um, okay that time comes you say I can't go along with this tyrannical stuff anymore uh, well we're not going to raise up an army uh, to take on the tyrannical government but uh, you can at least say I'm not going to go along with these things and uh, fight it. Resist the devil and his minions. And his minions are definitely in the uh, government structure right now. So please keep that in mind. That is going to be it. Thank you for watching.